All right, so this week, our Tar Heel Traveler has been celebrating North Carolina's lighthouses. And tonight, he ends the week by revisiting a man from Harnett County who loved lighthouses, big and small. We find Scott Mason in Anger honoring a man dedicated to his lighthouse hobby. You know, North Carolina has got a cur to it. It has a Hatteras and an Oak Island and an Ocracoke and its lighthouses are like diamonds in the sand. Made out of brick. And Fred, he's the lighthouse replicator in the recliner. I can get along good as long as I'm sitting here in this recliner doing it. <laughs> Everybody needs a hobby. Why did you decide to make a lighthouse? I don't know. It just hit him. He built a little lighthouse and another, and pretty soon, he filled the whole room. Yeah, there's, there's two or three in there. Wood and wire. So they light. They do light. And Fred beams. Hallelujah. <laughs> Got one burning there. <laughs> That's a younger Fred. Grew up on a farm in Wake County. Other people's going to school. And I was out breaking land with a mule. He later broke ground on grocery stores, built stores across the state, including some on the Outer Banks. I know Outer Banks pretty good. <laughs> he was kissed by its beauty. I sheephead fish. That's my hobby. Sheepheads and lighthouses. Oak Island. And sometimes the two intertwine. That's fishing line. I think little, don't you? It is some kind of craftsmanship. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All that brick. I take one of my markers, make it like a brick joint. It looks pretty good and I have to get through with it. And when he's through, he won't sell it. <laughs> you give him away? Yeah, and I've got a lot of friends and I give them a friend's one. Gives them one or more than one. There's a lady down here. She said, I want two of them. I said, well, take two of them then. There used to be two of them. How long were you married? Six to two years. His wife is gone now. Fred is retired. He's a cedar. And so he sits and builds and passes the time at home in Anger. And how pleasant a home with all the houses. The light is good. You feel like you've had a good life? You doggone right, I've had a good life. I believe if anybody's had a good life, I've had one of them. What a light and joy he is. Just a talented and very generous man. Scott Mason interviewed Fred Dupree in 2017. He died earlier this year at age 95 after building and giving away hundreds of lighthouses and perhaps leaving a legacy of thoughtfulness and compassion.